Hello and happy Halloween. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is Doll and Dino Mama. I'm Gretchen and today we have some little coffins to open. These are my first Living Dead dolls. At the end when we get finished, I will also open, this is Frankenbear of Deddy Bear series two. I think it's cute and I found it on Walmart. My first Living Dead doll ever. Her name is Pixie. Uh, Living Dead dolls, pure evil. I'm dead. I sleep with worms. For spooky kids ages 15 and up, Mezco. Mezco Toys. They still put some dolls out. They now have a deluxe version. These, I think, were available in the 2000s. I don't know. I will put... This is Series 21, so they went through many different series of dolls. I found her on eBay, so I got her secondhand market. Pixie, stealing the souls of children, is all part of her game. She dresses up to lure them into her secret domain devouring their innocence one lost child at a time this playful pixie doesn't even know it's a crime okay and once you this is not absolutely perfect once you take off the outer plastic you are never going to put it back on so i've seen other collectors show off their living dead dolls but i'm not sure if they're necessarily doll collectors I've never seen anybody like take a good look at the articulation and the clothing and all the finer details. So we have a plastic cover. Okay. This is what the other side of the, the lid lid looks like. Living Dead Dolls. This is the 13th anniversary. Take a look. Um, this series all has wings, so she has a pair of wings back there. Let's see. Does this card come all the way out? Oh, it's kind of attached. Okay, that's kind of attached. She is tied down. Okay, she's tied down in the back. Oh, she has a lot of hair. She does have some box hair, but she's been in here for a while. And that is her death certificate. Okay. Yeah, I never seen the back of these because a lot of people keep them in box. I don't have the self-control to do that. This was already broken. The coffin is very nice. I will keep the coffin box and she can, you know, sleep in there. What have you. Oh my goodness. Um, they do also have a series called Living Dead Dolls Presents. And then they have like movie, classic movie characters. Adam's Family. They did a Wednesday. This is going to be difficult. I might have to do this off camera. I can't undo this. Okay. I think I about have her out. Oh, she has a little antenna. I couldn't even see that from inside the box because they're black. Cat. Kitty kitty. She says it's time for bed. Come lay down. Kitty. She does have a little box hair. Like she's a little square now. But, oh, she has antenna. Her hair is curly. I'm not good about telling what kind of hair fiber is what. Oh, now we can see more of her makeup. She has pink eyes. Oh, you can move her head a little bit. Oh, the antennas, it's a headband, but there is elastic holding it on. Oh my goodness. She has quite a bit of hair. Oh, her, she is a little bit articulated. 
she can move her neck up and down and ooh, side to side. I really like the antenna. Okay, she also has wings. She has fairy wings. And they are, oh, they're not stitched onto the dress. They're Velcro onto the dress. This is higher quality clothing than I thought it would be. Okay, her little skirt was flipped up. Oh, she is stiff. Okay, she can move her arms out. She's got something sticky on her. This maybe dye transfer or something. Oh, wow, okay, so they are a little posable. <gasps> what? Okay, so they can move out and up. I like her dress. She's black and purple striped. And this top layer. Um, it's like a cheap satiny in the bottom layer. And then we have a couple of layers of tulle. And the top layer of tulle has glitter. And her sleeves are also the glitter tulle. Yeah, this is okay. Oh. She also has black and purple striped stockings. I think her body is painted black. She doesn't have, oh, oh yeah, there is dye trans. Okay, sorry, I'm just gonna pull up the doll skirt. There is a little bit of dye transfer going on to the back of her legs, but I don't intend to take her out of this outfit. She has painted on black underwear. Okay, and her torso. Yeah, she's got dye transfer on her torso too where the band was holding her down she has a little belly button it's kind of like a little moon shape now i'm really curious about this doll's body <laughs> sorry she has little plastic shoes that are kind of like little mary jeans i believe she has a 13 on her back too uh, i could kind of see by pulling up her skirt yeah okay so that's kind of their start kind of a little double symbol and 13 living dead dolls Mezco toys made in China oh. oh I really like her hair she's so goofy cute yeah this is fun I like her a lot so she has basic five-point articulation. Oh, yay. That's Pixie, I'll have to do some close-ups. She is very interesting. Her face makeup is not absolutely perfect, but that's okay with me. Oh my goodness, I love the antenna. Like, she's nuts, that's great. Okay. My other dolls go together. I have my favorite princess, Snow White. And I, of course, have the, what are they calling her? Evil stepmother? Evil stepmother, the queen. Oh, death certificate. Mm. Should we open it? Oh, it is ribbon. Okay, death certificate. I hereby certify that on the 25th day of June, 1454, Pixie, not knowing the difference between right and wrong, Pixie lived in a world where she did not belong. Playing with creatures who could not be seen, she gave up her life to become a figurine. Living Dead Dolls, M, Damien, Glonek, and Ed Long Morticians, Date 625-1454. My Snow White and my evil stepmother are part of Scary Tales Volume 4. Snow White. Coal-colored hair and skin so fair, that was young Snow White. The queen did plan to kill her, but didn't expect a fight. A poison apple was the tool, its flesh is red as fire, but in the end, it was the queen who ended up in the pyre. 
Mm -hmm. Living dead dolls, I'm dead. She has a little cape. Let's get her out. Her box is in excellent condition and these were shipped to me really nicely. Um, I bought them from the same seller, so they were together as a set. Okay, no going back. This box is a more simple design, just black and said, says Living Dead Dolls. Her tissue paper is white. Oh, yes. Oh. The back purse has her apple. Does she have a death certificate anywhere? It's, it's not in there. Hmm. Maybe they don't. Okay, I think I'm going to take the twist ties off off camera. I'm fascinated. Interesting. Her cape is a separate piece. It has a Velcro closure. It has some silver trim. She has some white ribbon trim on her puff sleeves of her dress. Her dress has a collar. It is gray on top and white on the bottom. And she has black like Mary Jane style shoes. Yep, I think they just continue to use the same mold for the shoes. She has this red lip and these blue eyes. She looks, she's in shock. Maybe she's just been poisoned by the apple. And she has a hole in her hand. And there's a peg on the apple so that she can hold it. Let's see if that actually works. Yes, it does. So she can hold her apple. Her hair is a little wild. But some of that's not her fault because she was in the box. I feel like the rooting on the pixie um, looks a little, oh, a little bit of shedding. Looks a little better. But her scalp is painted black and it's all black hair. So I like her a lot. Let's get out the queen. Oh, let's put her cape on too. Oh, shedding, shedding, shedding. Ooh, there we go. Get her looking a little more up. She was kind of head down in the box. She has white underwear, if you'd like to know. Oh, they could sit, but their legs do go out. I mean, we would sit like that. Typical. Her skirt is fairly voluminous too. I mean, that's really, I'll show you guys in a minute. Good, that makes her look even more in shock. Okay. And lastly, we have the Evil Queen. They have the same little poem on there because they go together really. As a set, evil, evil stepmother, the queen. Okay, now going back. That's that. Hers does have black tissue paper. The same little poem. She weirdly doesn't have shoes. I don't know if she's in the middle of turning into the old crone witch. Okay, I'm gonna take these off. Oh, demo. Okay, stepmom is barefoot and she's in this shroud cape situation, which is elastic down. Okay, it's like a cape. Oh, she has white hair underneath. And she's in this black, like, it almost feels like felt 
dress. So like this is the nicer material. It's kind of like velvety velour kind of feeling. But she's got this twisted shut in the back. I'm gonna undo it. Oh, there's like just, a, this piece hangs down. Yeah, there's just a piece hanging down and then these two pieces twist shut because she's gonna be spooky underneath. We're gonna take this off. Okay, I think that they are the ones that need to see the reveal, but. Oh, okay, this is just a loop. We've got a couple loose threads. So that's either less than, either it's intended to just, yeah, I think it, these are it's supposed to be temporary. That way it's, she stays covered up, the face covered up in the box. Yeah, let's undo these. Does that make it a little more anticipation? Can you see that we have threads that are loose? Because underneath, <laughs> underneath she's even creepier. I mean, she looked like that in the box, but now we have all of this. <laughs> <laughs> and that thread is just there to keep that on. I want to see what she looks like without the shawl. That's really clever. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> she could be a member of like the band Kiss or something. Hang on. This is coming off. Ooh. Okay. No, you need to see. Hang on. Wow, there we go. She has hair that's very similar to Snow White's, except she's, the, honestly, she's very similar to Snow White in the paint too. Let's get them next to each other. She's got this hair is kind of everywhere. I think I want it to kind of peek out from her, but, oh dear, my lighting. That's what we have going on with our face. She, let's, hmm. She has black underwear. She has a little bit of dye transfer going on on her legs. I'm not too worried about it. This dress is just like a little felt thing. She also has some shedding going on. We're losing some white hairs. Oh wow, okay. You can really see the dye transfer that's happened while she's in box. It's from the felt outfit that she's wearing. Just everywhere that wrinkled. Um, but I don't intend to put her in anything else. Because what else am I going to do with the doll that looks like this? Oh my. There's been a little dye transfer on her face on this side too of that red color. <laughs> so, I mean, aren't they a little similar? A little bit opposites? Her color, uh, her color looks a little yellow in this light, but it really doesn't look yellow to me, but Snow White does look very white. Yep. That's the doll portion of this video. I'm gonna put her back under her little shawl and we can get a teddy bear out. That sounds nicer, right? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, this is funny. Okay, so I'm putting this back on. You really, you just make a loop and we're gonna stick this through the loop and hopefully that should work out for her to be displayed with her yuck face kind of hidden a little bit. Hopefully, Ooh. it's okay. If you smother your doll, it was, she was already dead. So I think that's interesting and smart. I think it is weird she's shoeless, but she's supposed to be like the old lady. 
Okay. Freaking Bear, Daddy Bears, Series 2, www.creepycollectibles.com. I don't know. I just ran into this at Walmart just in the kids' toys, so I don't think it's going to be that creepy, but uh, it does come in a coffin, and it's Daddy Bear, like, dead. Um, oh. He fell out. Ooh. Oh, he's cute. He's a little bear. Frankenbear. There's words in here, so I'm going to read them. Frankenbear, December 1743. This monstrous creation is a terrifying presence among the deadly bears with jagged stitches holding together his mismatched parts. He may look cute, but touch this electrified fur at your own risk. Smell, rotting flesh, loves bedtime stories. Weakness, thunderstorms. Oh, oh, and it's like a collector card. Six and up. Okay, I guess if you're six, you can handle it. I like his little, he's got little claws. He's really cute. He's little, but he's cute. We have a cat again. Meow. Happy Halloween, like and subscribe, bye 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 bye. <laughs>